Morris says, I don't understand all the hype around the new Bing. Whoa. Whoa, that's <laughs> them's fighting words, Laura. How is this different than any other chat app? I've always been able to ask questions in my own natural language. Is it really much different from what we've been using for years? I feel like the hype around it is too much. Anyone else? <laughs> so I'm I'm going out of a limb it. here. I, I am uh, going to have to disagree with Laura. Ditto. It is a very big deal. And yeah. so the, the first question is whether... Laura, you're just using the Bing. I mean, this this question's a couple months old, so maybe she was using the not the new version of it yet. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. it's it's a little bit different. Not just it wasn't just on the the straight Bing interface yeah. um, to have that experience. So it's very different in the way that it works. Um, so that it you know the the chat capability. Yeah, the chats are generally natural language, and there's been other chat tools that are out there. But now it's just much more powerful and is instead of being built off of a library that is uh, like most chat bots, for example, um, historically have been built off of a library of 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 canned of responses stuff. that mm -hmm. that sit on a server at, at your company, you know, for example, for an internal like this is scaling across the Web and pulling details into it. So it's very different. Yeah, in the underlying yeah technology. and it's also it's only giving you sites and what they've said. I think that's the biggest difference. You know, when you when you look at the way that it's doing, it, it's go here's the site and and whereas this actually gives you a written response to do, which is quite different to giving you a bit of a written response to your question too. It, and every time you go to Bing and, or or historically just a search engine and you're asking for something, it's not building on refining on the answer that it gives you it's, just you're asking everything. it it's like flipping a coin you flip it yeah. once you get head it's still a 50 50 chance of tails it's not a greater chance of getting tails if you got head previously it's always a 50 50 whereas with the that might have not that might have just confused people with that analogy yeah. but <laughs> the i mean the difference here is that if i'm querying if i'm asking bing for details using the new ai capability it's bringing back a result set i can then ask refiner questions i can ask something different i said give me x3 without Z. having to know boolean search stuff that's right. i think is the biggest yeah. one because yeah, most people right. don't know that's what it. language or how they actually refine it so just yeah. to be able to type it in yeah, so I mean, yeah, I, I, that's where I'm with you because, like, you know, people yeah. on my team are like, I searched and I couldn't find anything. I was like, really? I was like, I'll go and search and I go, first one, here you it's go. It's all and about like, the words. But I'm more used yeah. to the terminology, yes. the wording, and they're yes. not. And I'm like, that's where the AI stuff for me comes in because it's interpreting, it knows that that's what they meant, right? right. Um, or, or yeah. if you realize that, hey, I didn't word it, that I, now you can then say, no, actually, I only want for the last 12 months of data. And then yeah. the, the results come back says, actually, only a data that l was from Fridays. I mean, you could build on your initial query and slowly mm -hmm. refine it and get to what you're actually looking okay. for. I, I would like to say that, look, we're not judging people based on their querying ability, um, but we are. <laughs> but we, we, um, we are to the point that now there's something that can help you. Yeah, Help exactly. Yourself, right. In natural um, language, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I will throw out the disclaimer because I got burnt by AI last week. Mm -hmm. Won't go into it or I could. You tell me. Um, it is new. It's not perfect. Mm -hmm. So beware yeah. and just be careful where you're testing it and what you're testing it on. And just so you know, I, I just to, contrary to what Kirsty just said, I have also requested using a natural language and it also provided results there you go unnatural language <laughs> <laughs> dare i ask <laughs> yeah, yeah. no yeah no it's it, it's a it's you you do need to go and experiment look there even though it's you're not having to remember like the boolean terms you don't have to structure in a certain way there are way things that you can ask to set it up. You can actually, it's like when you do database management and you're, you're looking at massive amounts of data, 
you'll always want because I used that I kind of came up in that world building the data mart. So you have the massive amounts of data. You're trying to collect the things which are relevant to what like my team, my marketing team needs. Well, you build this mart, this subset of all the data in the world. You have this massive amount of data, but you know, that's relevant to this space. And then you go and start slicing, dicing from there. So when you're doing the search with the new AI capability, so chat GPT or through the Bing uh, uh, chat capability, you want to ask in the broader terms, think of the category of everything that you you potentially are want to search within, and then ask those refining questions to get down to the detail. Um, so it's usually by structuring your request using natural language, um, you have an approach to that um, versus trying to ask for the very granular specific thing in your first initial request, it might bring you back different results every t every single time that way. Yeah, well, my also thing is it's new results to where you ask and it's filtering on that same information, same topic to where every time you do that, it's, it's a whole new set of, Things where See, you I thought you were close. Yeah, you were close. Yeah, you were close. Yeah, yeah. And then you changed just something slightly in the thing that and you were close to. Yeah. 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 Um, that I actually like doing the quite large to start with of defining kind of what I want. I find that when I was doing the typing, you do really short, you know, that short, and then you'd get thrown, you know, hundreds of thousands yep. or tens of thousands of results. And then you, then you sort of put in another word and another word, and then you're off on a completely wrong tangent, as you said, and the same thing had happened. Whereas I found that it wasn't as much with chat GPT when I started out with, this is kind of what I want and it's defined and I need this. And I would have, I'm, it's much easier for me to do that in a, the verbal kind of natural language where I'm actually, rather than typing, I'm using voice. And when you look at it from, um, when you look at it from those of us that might sit in the neurospicy range um, and, or, you know, when it comes to the disabilities that we've got, having that verbal side of it and having it return those kind of results, I think is a fabulous thing. Yeah. Very so much call, so. Yeah. I, yeah. Call, I call chat GPT and these AI things are like, oh, they're me. They're, they talk like me. Yeah. So I just talk normal and it knows what I'm doing. Yes. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's everybody's own personal. It's you. It's you in a it's a, you in an AI box. Yeah. It's you know, it's speaking your language. It doesn't you don't have to be all very specific like we have to do in searches. Kind so. of. Uh, 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 Along these lines, now, of course, they just announced uh, that ChatGPT, so this is not Microsoft's product, but just the standalone ChatGPT is now going to be using Bing as its search engine. And what I'm wondering, because with Bing using ChatGPT, how are we entering inception? <laughs> hmm, don't know. The dream upon a dream, folks. Hmm. Hmm. See. Something to um uh not waste your time thinking about, just uh, <laughs> <laughs> something to make you go, hmm. hmm. Yeah.